Okay, so thanks to Justin Cook. I got to take a look at Summoning Sylvia, which is written and directed by Wesley Taylor and Alex Wise. Right? I think they both come from a theatre background, and this is their um, feature, right? Their feature debut. Both worked a lot, as I said, both worked a lot in theatre, both worked a lot in TV, and they've come together to uh, co-write and co-direct this uh, this new one. It is produced by um, Cody Lasson, uh, executive produced by Greg Gertzmaninian. Um, associate produced by Mark Steen, Michael Sanson, Mark Rubiniski, Mark Robertson, Stephen Tyler O'Connor, Terry Naradozi, Andy Jones, and Tony Castinego. Uh, line produced by Nikki uh, Rezo Akmal. Um, yeah, uh, and co produced by Jim Head and Jesse Stalnaka. Music is from Max Muller, Matthew Rivetto. And cinematography, Sarah Corrigan, edited piece, Stephen Tyler O'Connor was on casting, Emily Steaker Epstein, production design, Jevon Nelms, costume design, hair and makeup is Andrea Savadura. Blake Marshall and Domino and our cast. Well, Larry is played by Travis Coles. Um, Jamie, his fiance, is Michael Yuri. They're friends. Well, Larry's friends. We got Nico, played by Frankie Grande. Reggie, played by Troy. Iwata, Kevin, played by Noah J. Ricketts, um, and Jamie's brother, Harrison, is played by Nicholas Logan. Uh, we've got um, Sylvia, played by Viana Cox, Philip, played by Camden Garcia, PB, played by Sean Grandiolio, Simon, played by Nick Martinez, and Frank is played by Alex Wise. So, uh, yes. Yeah, Wesley doesn't get in the film. Just Alex. <laughs> And, um, oh, and we've got Daniel Barbarossa in there as well as an, a mob member. The gist of the flick is Larry has been kidnapped by his three best friends for a bachelor weekend getaway at a haunted house. As they sashay through the dusty corridors, the comrades recount the house's legend from a 100 years ago. A murderous woman named Sylvia slaughtered her son and buried him beneath the house's floorboards. But then Larry remembers that he was supposed to spend the weekend bonding with Harrison, his mysterious future brother-in-law. Horrified at his oversight, Larry invites the army uniformed hetero Harrison to join his gaggle's gaycation neglecting to run it by his friends. Later, as they hold a high-spirited seance to summon the sinister Sylvia, the group ends up welcoming more house guests than they bargained for. 
So, um, I would say for a kidnapping, <laughs> there wasn't much resistance, right? <laughs> I mean, if they tried that shit on anyone else, it ain't happening. <laughs> I mean, even a five-year-old is probably going to get away from that. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I don't know. It was... Hmm... I, I, I thought there was a lot of things that seemed a bit like I think when you're all if you're all all no, all organizing right a bachelor kind of thing you would understand okay right so the fiance if if they've got a brother right you'd probably be trying to invite them you know what I mean because it just that's what happens, you know what I mean, you, you include all the people that will be at the wedding, like, the inner circle people, as it were, so, you know, the fact that that didn't happen, and then you just got all this, like, oh, but uh, I forgot, I was meant to, you're like, come on, man, like, uh, there's a lot of those things seem a little bit of a stretch, you know what I mean, a little bit of a stretch, right, and, I, I was, I didn't understand why Harrison would turn up in army gear. You know, you know, there's like, you would have other clothes, right? So those kind of things felt a little bit forced, right? Is it is a little bit forced to be like, oh look, these people are so different, you know, like. Harrison would know, like, it's not that he doesn't know his brother's gay. You know what I mean? Doesn't It's not that he doesn't know his brother's gay. So, I feel if he was homosexual, homophobic even, that's the word, <laughs> homosexual, then it, then it wouldn't be an issue, right? But if he was homophobic, you kind of feel that, Jamie wouldn't be trying to get Larry to hang with him, you know, so there was that, and if he was, I don't, like, it would be odd for Jamie to be like, oh yeah, take, take Harrison with you, you know, like, those things just wouldn't make any sense, so the interactions at the house, again, felt a little bit forced to create a situation, right? To create the friction and all of this kind of thing, right? Ah, let's get some jokes here. Where he's just like, I mean, you can do that for sure, but let's set it up a little differently, right? To make it make sense. Otherwise, it just seems, you're like, wait, huh? There's there's the whole Sylvia thing because they're reading this stuff and going, oh, this is the legend, this is what happened. And you kind of feel that throughout people's opinions seem to change with not a lot of info, right? It's not like you've got all of this evidence and all of this to go oh, I think that happened. It's just like, well, this happened. Oh, this might have happened. Oh, this might have. And you're just like, where are you? You know, and it's so easy to jump from these, these things without any real thoughts or idea, which just seemed a little bit, something seemed to stretch. I ain't gonna lie. Some things definitely seemed a stretch. Along with the ending there's, I'm like, there's aspects of, you know, just hanging out with people. Boom. Let's hang out. Let's talk. Let's have fun. Then there's what happened where you're just like, would you need to do that? Right? And now, whatever floats your boat, you feel me? I don't care. But it just seemed that this person would supposedly go from one thing to the complete 180 of it. 
and also it's just like when when you hear the, the thing and it's just like oh should we do and you're just like okay to do that why do you have to do the other thing right it just didn't make any sense it was like wait what how why huh please explain you know what i mean which just seemed the thing there was there was a it felt like you know they wanted to hit certain points and show certain things which is fine but then navigating to those things was a little bit clunky you know a little bit clunky right there's a lot of hammy acting like some some solid acting some hammy i don't know um yeah it's not overly long right i feel it's 74 minutes i think it's something like that it might be 80 minutes it's not too long which i think is good kind of could have been a bit shorter still right do you feel it could have been shorter could have been a short right it, because that's what it did feel it, at times a bit like you know, one of the shorts you might see at London Film Festival, you know, um, Final Girl, something like that. Right? I feel. Um, and I, it may have worked better like that. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, people. I, I, I would say, listen, it's not, like, I remember from a few beers back at Flair, there was a Drama Rama, I think, I believe it was called. Which was fantastic. It was just great. It's not on that level for me. Though, you know, the drama I didn't have murder mystery and all of that involved, right? But it was a group of friends, uh, you know, away, hanging out. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. If you like the films, you know, group of friends in a situation... You know what I mean? Like a kind of scream. I know what you did last summer. But less bloody. You know? If you like those kind of things, then maybe summoning Sylvia will work for you. Right? Um, I don't know. Just trying to think of things. Like, I think maybe if you enjoyed Scare Package 2. Right, if that was your thing, like the scare package movies on um, Shudder, if you enjoy those, right? If, um, hmm, there's, you know, there's definitely other ones that kind of probably fit how this one goes, right? Maybe, um, sorry about your demon. You know, if you like those kind of things, then uh, possibly this this will work for you, right? Summoning Sylvia, um, yeah, that uh, I think that might work, right? It will be hitting cinemas on Friday, and then it hits streaming like VODs. I think the first week of April. Yeah, I mean the first full week of April, not, but certainly Saturday is April, right, but, uh, yeah, that, 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 I think it's the 7th of April, um, that, the, the actual dates are on the website, people, oh, off the top of my head, I'm, uh, yeah, a bit rubbish, I forgot, but yes, um, yes, it is the 7th of April, 7th of April is when it hits, uh, VODs, right, cinemas this weekend, VODs next. So you have options there for you, people. You know, go out in public, watch it in the comfort of your own hand, your own home. Just don't be summoning people, right? Don't be hitting that Ouija board because you don't know what's going to come up, right? But yes, summoning Sylvia is coming your way soon.